everybody, it's Singing Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and today we are back with my brand new Seasons Let's Play. We're on part three and we have Ali here. She is she's with her friend Rosie. She's decided to come for um, a little chat at the garden centre and cafe that I'll show you around um, a bit in a minute. Um, but yeah, so she's here. She's having a chat with her. Um, she's kind of just going over everything that happened um, yesterday on Halloween or on Spooky Day. And basically, she's just had enough of Emily's behaviour. And um, Ali's one of, um, sorry, Rosie's one of her best friends. She has known Rosie since she was in high school. Um, Rosie used to live in Binsden Bay, but then she got married and moved away. But sadly, her relationship didn't work out. So she moved back to Brindleton Bay and she is really grateful that she has a friend in Ali because Ali's, um, she's quite a sociable person. She's, so she's helped Rosie kind of intermingle with the rest of the ladies in the town. And she's just kind of helping her out um, with the kids and things like that as well. Because Rosie's got um, a daughter, um, it's a child, and then a son, it's a toddler. So, um thing was her face Ali's been through all that before and she's going through it just now so she's going to complain to Rosie about um about what's her face I keep saying that about Emily and just saying that she's just really had enough of her so we're going to go and do complain about local youth um maybe she's blaming people that Emily's hanging about with and she's saying you know it's just the friends that she has they're just not um a good influence on Emily and she's like yeah they're all a bunch of llamas <laughs> but yeah so um it, Rosie's not really got much advice because she doesn't have a teenage girl but maybe she's thinking well she's probably stressed at school um give her a bit of a break and Emily's like I'm sorry Ali's like mm, I don't know like we all went through high school I wasn't this horrible to my mother like I don't know what am I doing wrong or is it is it me is it Emily what's going on um so, I mean, she's just staying in it's basis. She's got no idea what's going on with her life. But the sole purpose of Ali being here is to actually purchase some gardening supplies. So, um, I'll go ahead and let her purchase all of these. These are just um, the normal ones and then the rare ones here. So, this is the garden centre that I built. Um, I'm going to have to go in and fiddle about with it and fix it all. You may have seen it on my speed build that came out um, earlier in the week. Um, but... There's a few things that I need to fix because some of the items you weren't able to reach. Um, so I'm going to have, I've moved some things about but I have a feeling I probably need to move more. So I think after this I'm going to go in and fiddle about with everything and get it all sorted and test every object, make sure it works. Um, so she's purchasing these seeds and there's some more seeds up the back here as well. I mean I'll probably just purchase one of each I suppose like... Emily, um, Ali's not the kind of person to wait around for things. She's just going to get what she wants when she wants it. Um, so yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, she's kind of, she's ran out of space on her queue. Let's see if we can get the last one. Okay, perfect. So she's going to go home. She really wants to get into her gardening and her flower arranging. And she wants to go home and get the family all together. And basically get them all um, involved in cleaning up the garden. Because, um... It's a mess with all the leaves just now and she just really wants it to look nice. So when she's out working there, it's not annoying her because um, Ali is a bit of... Uh, she Yeah, she is a neat sim so she doesn't want to be working out in the dark. And I think she's going to go ahead and buy this swing set as well because they don't have one of them in their garden yet. And she thinks it might be a nice idea to encourage the kids to help tidy up um, if they're going to be rewarded with a nice new swing set. So she'll do that as a little incentive for them so once they get the place all tidied they can have the new swing set set up is Rosie still here um yes yeah, she is so we'll just say goodbye to Rosie and we'll head home and get organized for the kids coming home and um, she'll give her heartfelt compliments say thanks so much for spending the day with me today because I really just had enough um and it was really nice for you to be there and we'll give her a little hug and then we'll head away Okay, so we're back at the house and I have done a little bit of, um, I've moved this over a little bit and made it a little bit bigger so she can fit in some more plants since we've just bought so many. And we'll go ahead and, I don't want that on, no thank you. So we'll go ahead and open up these um, plants then so we don't need hauling. So we'll open up all these seed packets and see what we got. Where is she? She's just coming. 
So once she's opened these up, we can see what we've got. So I've just, I've moved um, these ones outside. So we've got holly, which can be done in fall and winter. And we've got chrysanthemums, which are summer and fall. So anything that can go out in fall, we'll move out here. And then I guess we'll move things around um, based on the season that we're in. So right now we're in fall. So we can just work on that. Let's open this one, open this one, open this one. Open, open. We probably don't need all the summer ones and all that, I guess, right? Oh, a playful magic bean. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Right, okay. Let's just start with the kind of normal ones. So we've got holly, we've got chrysanthemums. Um, open this, open this. Okay, so we've got basil here, which can go in summer and fall. So we'll pop that outside then. Um, so basil can go here and then spinach is winter so we'll pop that inside just now. Um, carrots are fall and spring so they can go outside too. Um, well we're really going to start planting these just now. Um, let's see, let's see. Basil we did that. Green peas are spring so these can go inside. Oh school project. Students are allowed to choose their own assignment for an upcoming school project. Should Emily choose an easy assignment to ensure a good grade or find a more challenging assignment and learn something new? Um, Emily would just do the easy assignment and sure enough Emily gets an A for her beginners origami and the little paper frog even hops when you press it. The good grade brings up an entire average point or two. So that's good. Um, so she'll be happy with that. Minimal work and she still gets the reward. Um, sage doesn't tell you so we'll pop that inside I guess just in case. Um, carrots we've done. A snowdrop. Oh how cute. Right, well, that's a winter one so we'll pop that inside. And um, we'll do a wee apple outside. I think that's fall anyway. Yeah, it is. We'll just pop the apple tree out there. Do some grapes um, over here. What was that? I put down sage. And mushrooms are fall. They can go there. Parsley is summer and spring, so that can go inside next to the sage. Um, a playful magic bean. Let's just pop that there then and see what happens with that. I don't know. I don't know that. A uh, bluebell, we've got parts we've done. Um, nuzzle nip. I don't think I want to bother with the cat one, so we'll just get rid of them. I don't know why I bought a catnip one. That was a silly decision. Don't want any of these. A cherry tree is for summer, so I guess we could have a cherry tree as well. Pop that one over there. It'll not work just now because we're not in summer. Um, a rose bush, fall and spring, so that's nice. We can have that outside as well. Oh, we've got loads. <sighs> that can go here. A begonia, that can go there. And yeah, that looks fine. We'll see what she gets when she opens up this last one. Before you plant these then, do that. Let's see what you got. Um, bananas and daisies. So daisies are spring, so we'll pop that in here. Perfect. Okay, so she can get back to planting these and when all the kids get back they can come and help with the garden because look at all these absolutely stinking piles of leaves. They are really annoying me and I can't seem to drag them to put them in the bin. Like they're so gross. Like raking leaves seems to be an actual horrible thing. It seems to not actually be beneficial apart from making these big stanky leaf piles around my house. Um, so what's the weather like today anyway? It is cold. It's so it's cool. <laughs> it's cool and cloudy, and we're on day nine of fourteen of spall. Spall! Oh my god! <laughs> I just need to stop talking. Right? Okay, let's have a look at the calendar then. <laughs> oh, that's nice. We've got a little lottery, so that's one of those surprise holidays that pop up. Then we have Harvest Fest. I'm gonna go in and change Harvest Fest because I decided I didn't want to do the holiday gnomes. Um, what will we do instead? We'll put some sports TV on instead and yeah, that'll do. Um, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I live in Scotland and the UK we don't usually do that. So I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but I wanted to do a bonfire night and we're going to do that at the end of fall to kind of celebrate that. It's a, it looked like it's going to be a nice day that day as well. So we'll do bonfire night. Nice. And we'll do a fireworks fire um what else would you do in bonfire night your fireworks you have fire oh party spirit well yeah i guess there's a party spirit drink dance and play music mm. hum 
we're living to a barbecue out, so that might be nice. Okay, that looks like fine for that. Um, did it say day off school? We don't want the day off school. And we'll have the fall decorations up, the Harvest Fest decorations up. And like I said, I forgot to take down the decorations for um, this thing. What is it called? Spooky day. So take down the decorations. Take them down. Should Emily invite over classmate Lorelai? Yes, she should. That is one of her bestest friends. Look at this little dog. It's so disgusting. Right, when Spencer comes back, he can give the dog a bath then, right? Give Sandy a bath. Um, so Lorelai is... Not Lorelai. Blah, blah, blah. Ali is disgusted by the smell out here. So she's going to get the kids to come and start throwing away the leaves. Um, yep, throw away and throw away. You can work on that whilst mum does the gardening and we'll have a nice gardening day, like family gardening day and hopefully um, Emily managed to keep her attitude. Emily's returned with a school project. Okay, she probably won't do that. Maybe the other kids will but I don't think Emily's going to because for her she is just not interested in doing school projects. So She's going to go and do her chores just to help her mum out, I guess. I mean, she's not all bad. Where's her friend Lorelai? I don't know where she went. She's not all bad, you know. She's just, as all teenagers do, she has, there's Lorelai there. She sometimes has a little bit of an attitude, I suppose. Um, so little Mabel's outside as well. So what can she do? Can she, let's go and cheer up Sandy. Yeah, cheer up Sandy. Why can the cat not get outside? The cat's not supposed to come outside anyway. You're an indoor cat. It's scared of something? What's it scared of? The window? I don't know. It's a very, very silly cat. Um, so is Ali getting on with that? No, you don't have time to play with your kid right now. So you're just busy, busy, busy doing all your planting. Do we need to water anything? Yep, water all. And um, did you plant these ones? No one... I'll do that just in case they don't plant on their own because they're not in planters. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, come and throw these ones away as well. Is there any more? No. Well done, guys. You've done a great job. Oh, what's this? Um, well, at least I can move that. So I'll just pop that in the bin myself then. I don't know what it is, but it'll go. Right, so we're going to get Emily to come and chat to Lorelai for a little while. That's one of her friends. Um, she's a teenager that lives in Brindleton Bay with her. She's going to brighten her day. Um, so she's one of her friends. She's a bit of a goody two shoes, um, but they're still friends. They've been friends for a long time. But Lorelai actually spent the summer abroad um, with her family over there. Um, she has older parents and um, she has like their kind of nieces and nephews and things like that. They live abroad. So she went to visit them for the summer. Um, and she just came back for school starting in the fall. So Lorelai's not seen her. No, my goodness. Emily's not seen her in a while. She's supposed to be talking to her. Emily's not seen her in a while. So she's quite happy that she's back. Let's just show a favourite game. Just make sure she can go and speak to her. Um, yeah, so she's quite happy that she's back. She gets one of her friends back. Because in Emily's eyes, it is a hard life being a teenager. And um, she just thinks that the more friends that she has, the better. So we'll just queue up a few interactions for them. Heartfelt compliment. She's feeling quite flirty, but I mean, I don't think the two are interested in each other at all. So I don't think they're, um, there's a romantic relationship involved with they two. Um, definitely not. Not with they two anyway. Um, let's see. So I guess we'll get rid of these ones because these are like from when I was playing the game before I started recording. So we'll just pop these away. And Byron's a good little truck, so he can come and start this one over here. We'll just pop it here. Start working carefully. And then Mabel's, she's just pottering about. Ellis is feeling tense. He needs some fun. So he can come and watch some TV um, while she's chilling out. And Wentz, what's she doing? She's just watering some plants. Oh, she's got, she's going to make a mess of this garden. We're supposed to be tidying up, young lady. I need to get a picture of her. She's so cute. I just love her. She's such a curie pie. It's so dark with this, um, with all the seasons, don't you think? Like, everything just seems so much darker. It's already a dark game, and it's, like, even worse now. So everyone's tidying up, and Mabel is just making a mess behind them all, which is great. So, 
Oh, well, right, so it looks like Ali's done. The garden's looking good, so I guess we'll pop out our swing set in a little minute. Um, I'll get Ali to go and start making some dinner for everyone. Serve dinner, um, serve some Caesar salads, and um, we'll pop out the little swing set that we bought. So once she's finished, well she was making the dinner, before she makes the dinner then, she can go ahead and encourage recent behaviour. So she can encourage the kids for doing what they were supposed to do. Because, I mean, she doesn't want to just shout at them all the time. She wants to be able to, well apart from with um, Emily I, I guess, she doesn't want to encourage her recent behaviour. Um, so let's encourage recent behaviour, encourage working on school project. Yeah, she's proud of her kids. They've done everything that she asked them to do, so let's go ahead and see if I've done it again because she didn't do that that time. Um, so let's see. So I mean, she does have a good relationship with um, Ellis here. We've not really seen much of Ellis yet, but I'm sure we will in the future. Right now, um, as usual, Emily's been kind of stealing the scene a little bit, and um, and that's just what she's always been like since. I mean, remember they two are twins, so. Since they were born, Emily's always been the attention hog. Like everything that happened, it was always the attention was always on her. And why are all my sims always just jamming like this? And um, the attention has always been on her. And poor Ellis just kind of um, drags himself along. I mean, the dad gives Ellis a lot of attention because he wants Ellis to be just like him and be a sports um, kind of guy. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell I'm not into sports because I'm like. He does the sports and that, um, but yeah, and it's just so annoying, why is it? Is anyone else finding that, that their sims are just jamming all the time, like, they're so laggy? Oh. Okay, so Ellis has finished um, watching TV, he's feeling a lot better about himself here, so he is going to go and um, examine this weird looking thing here. He's having a wee look and saying, hmm, why did my mum buy this? Like. I'm not really sure what this is. And I guess we're going to chat with him. We'll discuss the birds. He maybe feels a little bit... Oh, he just moved. He doesn't even seem that freaked out that he's moved. Oh, why are you leaving, Lorelai? We were having some fun chatting with you. Oh, well, I guess we'll see you next time. Um, Well, she can go on the swing then and chill out on the swing for a bit. Maybe that'll help with her fun. Since she's done her chores. Oh, and Mabel is not looking great. She needs to grab a serving. So what else can we do with a scarecrow? Tell harvest jokes. Question abilities to actually scarecrows. So Mabel's gonna no, go and eat some food. She's serving the Caesar salads. Okay, oh, put the walls down. Um, he's carrying nothing it looks like, but I think he's supposed to be carrying the dog. Dog's already in the bath. Oh, this is very, very glitchy. Very, very, very glitchy indeed. Um, use the toilet then and then you can have some fun. Oh my god. This game is glitching out a lot right now. It's really creeping me out. So let's see if we've got any further forward with this little scarecrow. Um, I mean, it's all just the kind of same things. When can we actually... Do we have a relationship with him? No. We don't. Hmm. So how many times do you need to talk to him? Like, I guess maybe if we just talk to him every day, maybe that'll be what we need to do. Um, and he can go and just swing with... Ask to swing with Emily and they two can swing. Um, they really should have worded that a little bit better. Like, every time I watch an LP and someone says ask to swing with, no one can, like, everyone keeps laughing. But this is really, really cute. Like, they two are having some good time. So all the family have done the garden. And we'll just grab a quick screenshot of that before I sign out. So they two are swinging away there. They've done a good job helping their mum tidy up. So they deserve that nice swing set. Um, so everyone's really happy. And the garden's all looking nice and tidy. And we managed to get through an episode without Emily and Ali going down each other's throats with their anger issues between each other so that's quite nice I think to be honest they've just stayed out of each other's ways so I guess that's um the key to it is just stay away from your crazy teenage children 
Um, but yeah, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you liked this part. If you did, please remember to leave a little like. And if there's any of the other character stories that you want to know a little bit more about, just let me know down below in the comments. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see in the future of this LP, again, just leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Oh my goodness, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to keep up to date with anything else that's going on on my channel, between the Let's Plays and Speed Builds and things like that, you can follow me over on Twitter at Singing Simmer, and you can check me out on the gallery under Singing Simmer 173. So thank you again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye! Tell you how you never left my mind But then you tell me that you miss